Mic checker. Chicka, chicka, chicka. It's not some, baby. Uh, yeah. A one time, baby. Uh, what? Uh, for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah. We gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this is another episode. So, so. A Swingers After Dark. And this is your host. Not some, baby. Here we go. Uh, you know, when you go to a swing party with your date, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, the mistress, the side piece, a chick you just fucking, or a chick you're not fucking. She could just be a homegirl. Fuck it. She could be a family member or a relative. And you know, when you go to a swing club with your date, fellas, when you go to a swing club with your date, you know, be mindful that you have dudes on the prowl. Now, those dudes, they don't have to be thirsty. They can have good intentions. But be mindful that you have dudes who are looking to see who's single and who's in a relationship. And it's up to you to establish your territory. You know, you establish your territory by constantly being around your date. Making your date feels like that she, she, she matters. That she's relevant to you. You know, let your date know that you care. Now, I know you see a lot of sexy women, especially when you're a newbie. You're either a newbie in a lifestyle or you new to a particular lifestyle scene and you know you want to do your thing and you want to give her room to do her thing. But don't get it to the point where you know she feels unprotected in the midst of you doing your thing. Because she's your responsibility at the end of the day. You understand me? It's like Mary had a little lamb and so do you. You're the shepherd. You know? You're the shepherd of the sheep, of the lamb. And that's not to say that, you know, your woman is weak. I'm not saying that, metaphorically speaking, for the slow motherfuckers out there. But I'm just saying, it's like when you were to date, you got to make sure that she matters to you. You know, you got to make sure that, okay, you have all these sexy women out here, out in the lifestyle. Shit, they could be butt-ass ugly. But regardless of how many women... Who are present at a party or at an event or fuck it, even a meet and greet. Like you have to give the impression that your date matters. You know, that she's the only star in your orbit. Or fuck it, she could be the fucking supernova. You have a lot of stars, but you just got one supernova. You understand me? And you know, you don't want to get it to the point where your date feels neglected. Because you're tender dick and you know, you want to play the field. But you leaving her alone and then she grows resentful of you. And that just opened doors for somebody else to step in and take your territory. Once again, metaphorically speaking, for the slow motherfuckers out there, you know, you don't want to leave your date to the point where she gets upset at you because she doesn't feel protected. You have all these dudes coming up to her. Hey, ma, how you doing? Hey, beautiful. Hey, sexy. Can we play tonight? What's your number? It's like women get tired of that after a while. Yes, they want the attention, but they want your attention first and foremost. And you have to establish your territory by being around your woman, by being around your date. You know, like I'm not saying that you got to be a bugaboo. I'm not saying that you got to put the pussy on the lock and key. I'm not saying that you got to put a curfew on the pussy. I am not saying that. I'm just saying that you have to mark your territory. You got to piss your territory instead of pissing her off. You feel me? So, you know, when you go on a date with a woman to a lifestyle party, to a swing party, you have to be around your date to the point where you're giving off the impression that she's yours. No ass, ifs, buts, ors about it. That she's yours. You're giving off that vibe. You're giving off that aura. You're giving off that sight, that perception that your date, regardless of whether they know your situation or not, they saying to themselves, men and women, they're saying to themselves, oh, she's with him. And they know not to press her. You feel me? And I had to learn that the hard way. Like when I was in the relationship, I was frolicking with other women as if I was single. And I had to learn that, you know, when people see that you're neglecting your woman, your date, 
or your fuck buddy or whatever the case may be, they're not going to respect your situation. They're not going to respect your dynamic. They're not going to respect your arrangement because they saying to themselves, well, shit, if he's prancing around like a single man, then she may be doing the same thing as a single woman who just so happened to be in a relationship. That's what they saying to themselves. So it's cool to, you know, leave your date for, you know, for a drink or something. You know, you may go to the bar or you may go back to the room to get something or you may talk to the homies or whatever the case may be. But 95 to 90 percent of your attention should go to her. You understand me? It should go to her. She should not feel neglected to the point where she resents you and she go off to some other dude out of spite. She may not necessarily like this dude, but because she's getting male attention that she's not getting from you, she's going to go off somewhere else. Like, fuck you. And she's going to dislike you for it. She's going to resent you for it to the point where she no longer respects you. You know? And then she's fucking... The next man, she should have been fucking you, but because you got, you did not give her the attention that she wanted, she, she said, fuck it. I might as well be single. I came with you, but I'm single. You're not giving me the attention that I want. So fuck it. I'm going to entertain other men who are giving me the attention that you, that you're neglecting to give me. And you never want your date to feel like she's unprotected, especially in a sexually driven environment like a swing party yes i get it you know you may be familiar with certain people you may know certain people but at the end of the day a woman still want to feel protected even when she knows familiar faces at a party at an event at a meet and greet it doesn't matter you're her responsibility no she's not a child no she's not your kid no She's not weak, but at the end of the day, she wants to be assured that she matters to you. And that's how you mark your territory. You mark your territory by being around your date to make sure that she's safe and secure. Check on her all the time. You know, like you could bust your nut, you could fuck some other chick, but check on her periodically. You know, play peekaboo in and out like a bank robbery. You could do your thing. She knows that you want your space. But at the end of the day, still check on her. Be around her most of the time for the most of the night. Even when you want to fuck other women, make sure that the majority of your time is with her. And she's going to respect that. If y'all come to an event, make sure y'all sitting together. If it's a pool party, make sure that y'all at least close to each other or y'all swimming together. You understand me? You have to set the tone. You have to set the tone in the situation or the relationship, the relationship that you and your date have. And when you come to a party, make sure that y'all leave together because it's fucked up when you leave your mate alone. Just because I'm not in a relationship with this woman, I'm going to leave her alone. No, when you come to a party together, y'all leave together. That's the unwritten rule. And I had to learn. I had to learn through trial and error. There, there have been times where I had a date. And I left because I was tired. I wanted to go home. But when you go to a swing party, an event, or like just an event in general, it it don't even have to be a swing party. When you bring a date, when you have company, you have to take one for the team. Even when you don't feel like being around other people, even when you don't feel like being her date at that time, you agree to that arrangement. You understand me? And you have to stand on your square. Your word got to be your bond. When you tell this woman, yo, you're my date. You got to commit to that arrangement. You got to commit to your words. In the beginning, that was the word. That what the good book said. So you got to materialize that word into existence. You got to stand on your word. Firm, ten toes, solid on the motherfucking concrete. So she could respect you. Yeah, she knows that you want to fuck other women. But as long as you take care of home first, that's what all she wants. She wants to know that you're taking care of home first. And fuck her first. Make sure that you fuck her first. And then you fuck other women. That's like another unwritten rule. It's like, just don't go willy nilly and fuck other women. No, you take care of home first. I don't give a fuck if she's just a girlfriend or your homegirl, a chick you just fucking. 
if y'all have an established sexual history, a sexual relationship already, then fuck her first. If y'all just friends, y'all just got a platonic relationship, then, you know, you already got that green light to play the field. But even when you got that green light, make sure that your your date feels safe and secure and stable. Because there's a lot of wolves out there. There's a lot of male and female wolves out there who want to take advantage of a vulnerable woman. And that's not to say that you're going to find those type of people in the lifestyle all of time. But at the, at the end of the day, you don't want that to happen regardless. You don't want to give off the inkling. The seed of doubt that you're with this woman, but you're not with this woman. You understand me? Like, even if you're, she's just a date, you have to give off the impression that, yo, she's my date. Back the fuck off. Or you got to ask me for permission of to talk to this woman. You got to ask me for permission to talk to this woman. Or you got to greet me first. If you don't greet me first, then there's nothing to be said. She got no rap for you. She shouldn't be talking to you. You have to acknowledge me first. Regardless of whether you know that she's single that doesn't matter. What matters is that you know that she's with me during that time and for the rest of the night. And when people know that you're attentive to your date, when they constantly constantly see you around your date, they're going to be like, they're going to give your situation the respect that you're seeking. But if they constantly see you walking alone, then it gives them the impression that it's open season. <laughs> No, it's, it's open season. She's up for grabs. Yes, yes, I know she's your date, but you're not around her. So because you're not around your date, then that means that I could get in. I could get in when I fit in. You know, you're giving other dudes and other females the green light to fuck with your chick, to fuck your chick, to talk to your chick, to exchange phone numbers. And even when she appreciates that attention from others, she really wants the attention from you, which is her date. And she's going to resent you because of that. And she's going to be petty. Yes, she's going to be petty. Like, let's say y'all at a hotel party and you're not being attentive to your date. She may fucking around and spend the night with somebody else, even though she came with you. You know, she may be petty and say, yo, fuck you. Or it, it don't even have to be petty. It could be her logic. It could be her logic of saying, well, he's not giving me the attention that I want. So because this other person is giving me the attention that I want, I'm going to fuck with him or I'm going to fuck with her or I'm going to fuck with them. That's how she's thinking. So you got to mark your territory by constantly being around your date. I'm not saying you got to be on her like flies on shit or white on rice or brown on rice. I'm just saying make sure that 90 to 90 percent, 90 to 95 percent of your night is with her. And the only time that you should leave her alone is when you fucking somebody else or you want to get like something to eat or something to drink. And even then, make sure she's around people who she's familiar with or she build a quick rapport with. So she'll feel safe in your absence. You understand me? Don't be frolicking with other women like she doesn't matter. It's like, you know, it's like that's not what a being a gentleman is about you know she wants a gentleman to be her date not a jackass who's gonna leave her out in the cold only for her to find shelter with somebody who did she who she didn't even come with so that's how you mark your territory like you got to establish that territory from the door from the gate from the jump from the rip from the get-go and like animals they piss to mark that territory you got to, you know, stand on your tippy toes, solid on the concrete. And you got to establish a presence, that alpha male presence that, yo, she's mine. You dig? She's mine. And she could be yours, but you got to wait your turn. If she decides to give you a turn and if I decide to give you a turn to play with my woman, to play with my date. You feel me? So you got to establish that from the rip, baby. You can't leave no room for error. It's like that quote, to paraphrase that quote, and the Godfather. Women and children can make mistakes, but men can't. Once again, women and children could afford to make mistakes, but men can't. We got to be on our square all the time. 
365, 24-7. You dig? And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, Not Sun, baby. Check out my website at www.notsunblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them, The Swinging Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, Ibis, Google Play. Go get it. Shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up with any questions or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. Yo, da 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 da